Welcome back and uh, on the significance of the new Alamein festival, we're delighted to be joined over the phone by uh, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, uh, journalist and analyst. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon to you. Hello to the dear viewers. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Uh, well, uh, New Alamein City on the North Coast is uh, gearing for the best entertainment uh, festival and the biggest one, uh, which is uh, uh, to be held uh, from the 13th of July to the 26th of August. How do you see the significance of uh, this uh, event being held in New Alamein City? Uh, such a very important uh, festival comes in a time that Egypt uh, has built and building more uh, infrastructure for tourism and of course uh, it's about time that uh, the whole world realizes how Egypt is uh, a white spot in the in a, in a, in a world uh, on fire uh, thanks to Allah that Egypt is safe and sound uh, along this uh, world that is filled with conflicts all around us and here we are uh, representing uh, the sound of Egypt, the, the, the feeling that we are we ready to uh, receive uh, tourism and uh, tourists from, from all around the world with uh, our uh, infrastructure for uh, tourism. And of course, we need to, uh, for the whole world to realize that Egypt is now uh, ready for uh, opening arms to all tourists from all, all over the world. Right. Well, uh, uh, earlier Egypt relied on soft power to attract uh, uh, different markets, among which is, of course, the Arab market. What, in your point of view, are the measures needed to boost soft power further to attract more tourists in various markets in Egypt? Uh, I believe that the Arab uh, touristic market is a significant market to Egypt. Uh, our brothers in uh, uh, Arabic countries uh, realize how friendly and how brotherly uh, atmosphere they can uh, find here in Egypt, uh, as well as uh, the, uh, the, the, the new aspect of uh, the, new, the, the, um, the relations uh, between the new era of relations between Egypt and uh, Arab countries. Uh, of course, after the, afterwards, uh, the revolution of uh, June 30, I believe that the, Arabs, uh, the, Arab, the Arabic sector of tourism uh, means a lot to our project uh, in Egypt. And we have uh, that uh, various uh, cooperative um, project uh, in too many fields uh, between uh, Egypt and uh, the Arabic uh, brothers uh, and associates. And of course, uh, a great part of those uh, projects are uh, concerning uh, tourism, of course. Uh, Egypt is welcoming. Uh, our brothers in Gulf countries, in uh, from uh, from North Africa, uh, to be welcomed here, Egypt, uh, the greater brother for the the Arabic world. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, now, uh, how far do you think the new Alamein city would change the tourism map in Egypt? Uh, it's a it's a it's a very significant step on the road. Such uh, conferences, such uh, festivals, such events uh, means uh, and represent and it suppresses how uh, Egypt uh, is a very strategic point, strategic uh, country all over the world, uh, in the heart of the whole world, whether the Arabic or the whole uh, world. We need uh, for the, the Western and the Eastern countries uh, to realize is uh, that in a world filled with conflicts, there is a spot, there is a place they can find uh, serenity and uh, enjoy uh, their lives, uh, a way of thinking about wars and conflicts and uh, greeds here in Egypt, which, which, is, uh, which have the leadership that uh, build its own strategy on on a um, on a uh, on a on a very important uh, way of uh, um, uh, evaluating uh, the balance between uh, relations with east and west 
we can gather all all the 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 the, the, the people from out, from either side. We can have uh, tourists from Ukraine. We can have tourists from mm -hmm. Russia. We can have uh, tourists uh, from uh, the whole West and the East, uh, from China, from Far East. We can gather the world in Egypt. Yeah. In peace. Yes. Well, uh, Mr. Abrahman, when it comes to tourism, Egypt has it all. We have the cultural heritage, uh, monuments, we have the beaches. Um, what kind of tourism will the new Alamein city uh, offer uh, different than the uh, other types of tourism that we have here in Egypt? The new Alamein city uh, represents our uh, fourth generation of cities. Uh, the smart cities that uh, that majors that we are applying in all the modern uh, cities that are being uh, established and already we have uh, more than 25 new cities in, in Egypt. <coughs> more, uh, excuse me. More uh, most of those uh, cities have its potentials, uh, touristic pot pot potentials, and they can be used. Uh, for such for such uh, goals to achieve uh, more horizons and expand our horizons uh, in in the field of tourism and of course it, they can serve the purpose of tourist, to, uh, tourists from all over the world for we need to change uh, the traditional way of thinking uh, of the, uh, the 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 tourists from abroad that only Egypt means uh, the pyramids and the Luxor uh, and um, the Oasis, uh, the Western Oasis. Yeah. We, ne we need for them to realize that we are building me new measures, new way of uh, touristic gathers between uh, the, the, the Egyptian touch, the historical Egyptian touch, and the, the global uh, way of thinking, the global measures of new yeah. cities and new uh, ways of tourism. Right. Well, I would like to thank you so much, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, our political analyst. Many thanks for your insight. And dear viewers, now we go to a short break and we'll be right back.